you guys, it's Kristen at Cooking in the County and today I'm showing you how to make homemade from scratch whoopie pies. Um, earlier I showed you how to make whoopie pies from a cake mix, really quick and easy so you can get them out the door. But if you want to take a few more minutes and make these by scratch, this is how I'm going to show you today how to do that. Um, they're light, they're fluffy, they're sweet, they're delicious. Uh, my video is a step by step again today like I did my past videos. We've been packing and cleaning in preparation of selling our house. So today the video is still going to be a little different, but I know you can make these whoopie pies. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my videos, um, and don't forget to actually make the whoopie pies. Show me how you made them. Show me if you like them. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Okay, here's a picture of all the ingredients that you're going to need. But I've also heard from some of my followers that they'd like to have the actual recipe right on the video. So I'm going to add it here for you. And then I'll also add it at the very end of the video as well. So take a look at all the ingredients that you're going to need. And then I'll give you a step-to-step -step instructions on how to actually put it all together. So the first thing we're going to do is cream the half a cup of shortening with the one cup of sugar. So add the sugar and the shortening to your mixing bowl. And I want you to keep that going until it looks really kind of creamed and fluffy. So the video might be a little long, but I kind of want you to see what I want you to have it look like. As you can see, it's all finally coming together. So now I want you to add the two egg yolks to your shortening and your sugar. And we're really going to cream this up really nice till it's like a pale yellow. That's starting to look exactly how I would like it. It's not really pale, but it's all creamed very well together. So the next things we're going to add are our one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of the baking powder. Just add that right to the bowl. The next thing we're going to add is the teaspoon of salt. And you can see that I'm struggling with recording and trying to do this. So I just said, forget it and just shut the camera off and then put it in there. So now we're just gonna mix that all together. The next thing we're going to do is add our one cup of milk and we want that to be warm, not cold from the refrigerator. Just throw in the microwave for like 45 seconds or whatever. And I just add my vanilla right to that, one teaspoon of vanilla right to the milk. So when we're pouring it back and forth, then it's already in there and we didn't, haven't forgotten it. So now we're going to add one cup of flour to our mixture. Just kind of do it kind of slowly, the best you can, only because it's gonna fly everywhere and make a big mess. So just do it as slowly as possible so it doesn't make as much of a mess. Once the one cup is in there, we're gonna add a little bit of our warmed up milk and vanilla to start getting this mixture together. 
not all of it, just a little bit of it. And the next thing we're gonna add is our five tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now this can make a real big mess if you put it in too fast. Even if you put it in slow, it's a big mess. So expect a mess. Once that's all in there, you're gonna mix that all up and then we're gonna add a little bit more of our milk to start creaming this all together. This way it just really helps all the ingredients get mixed in well. Pretty soon we're gonna have to scrape our bowl down because a lot of the chocolate kind of just cakes to the bottom. But we're gonna add one more cup of flour to this mixture and you can see that I'm struggling as well with this really trying hard, but I finally get it. That's not good either. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so we're gonna add that slowly like the other cup of flour. Now seems a really good time to scrape down your bowl before we finish adding all the milk. Okay, our bowl is all scraped back down. And now we're going to whip this up with the last bit of our milk. Just pour the rest in. And we're gonna mix this up. I like to mix it for about two minutes just so that it gets really good incorporated. going to scrape down our bowl again and we're going to get ready to start scooping our whoopie pies. This is my small scoop. I'm going to say that's probably a two tablespoon scoop. I'm not positive. So we're just going to put these all on our pan. They don't spread too badly but I only like to put you know this many on there. So this will do me four whoopie pies here. But I'm going to do about three or four pans of that. So the next thing we're gonna do is make our filling. So you're gonna need two sticks of softened butter and two teaspoons of vanilla. So that's already added to my bowl here. And we're just gonna start whipping that up. And we're gonna add one eighth teaspoon of salt. I don't like adding too much, but I do like adding some to kind of counteract some of that sweetness. And then we're just gonna add four cups of the powdered sugar to the butter and vanilla in the salt and just whip that up really good. Once all the powdered sugar is in, we're then gonna add some heavy whipping cream. Helps kind of get it lighter and fluffier. Breaks down some of the sweetness. It's kind of an eye how thick or how thin you want your uh, filling. I don't like my filling too thin, of course but I don't want it too thick either. So I'm gonna say two to three tablespoons. It's hard to say exactly. And then I just let that whip up for, I'm gonna say about five minutes because I really like it to get fluffy. And look at that. Don't you just wanna stick your finger in that? That looks so good. Nice and creamy and sweet. So now the whoopie pies are all finished. They're all baked up and we're just gonna put them on a cooling pan until they're nice and cool and not too warm. You never wanna frost a warm whoopie pie because your filling will melt. So here they are. I am going to fill this whoopie pie one-handed. I'm pretty proud of myself how well I do with this. So I use the same size scoop for my frosting for each one just to make sure that they all have the same equal amount of filling. So we're just gonna put the top on, squish it together, and look at that. For some reason, they didn't rise as tall as mine usually do, but they tasted still absolutely amazing. So as you can see how light inside and fluffy they are, the outside kinda has a little crunch, but the inside is really soft and fluffy. 
and the nice sweet filling. So here they are guys. I hope you guys try it. I'm gonna put the recipe at the end of this video as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a great day guys. Thank you.